Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Wasteland 3 video. Today, we are going to help Austin Peace recruit Austin Peace to the headquarters. So, when we first get in here, well, we already got Lucia, but that's just part of the it's not fair. story. Um, yeah, just come in here, and we it's went up there fair. to get Lucia, but anyway. Lost in pieces right here. How can you be dead? Purse, I guess. Lost in pieces. So talk to his mom here. You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the patriarch? We're the rangers. We look for anyone who needs our help. Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. Okay. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. What happened? Why was your son uh, sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Uh, who's your son? Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, my other son, my daughters. One by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him too. Please, help my son. Death to Milk! I hope you die Death slow! Death to the hundred stinking families! Austin. The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Snap back to reality. Let's Sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. How did you get in trouble with the marshals? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Why'd you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. You broke the law. You got caught in the Sims justice. Yep. Reckon so. Got any daring escape plan? No. I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. 
He swallows hard, his eyes on his pillories. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. What's your sentence? Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. He shivers. I wonder if it'll hurt. Let's see, uh, we can free you. What's that with to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. Do you have any, uh, useful skills? I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. He shakes his head. Nice talking to you. We'll oh. have our revenge! You ain't seen no Make sure you have $200 at least, unless you have, uh... Barter skills. No mercy on your soul, Colorado. Skills. Yeah, we have no barter skills. Do we? Oh yeah, we got one barter. We got one barter. I don't know if that's gonna help. Yeah, if you get one barter, it's only a hundred bucks. Otherwise, oh no, we got a bunch of barters. <laughs> got four hey, barters. Rangers. How'd you like that welcome party at the lake? So, last minute masturbator here. Yeah, need two hundred dollars. We got bars only hundred bucks. So. This door, this doorman looks out at the pillories with uh, expressions of grin, satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face. And his thin lips pressed together in a hard line. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival, partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders. You'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. That's what the pillories. They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. Death exposure seems harsh. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. You have no other punishment here? For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plain. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. He gestures toward the building behind him. Let's talk about something else. Proceed. Austin P says he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free him? His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. So you have Kiss asked for, you can probably get him out for free. He's too young for death sentence. Surely you can offer him mercy. Mercy? 
<laughs> I do not see the word in my law books. The Patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. He's not a bad kid and he's all his mother has. Kill him and you might as well kill her. My concern cannot be for his mother. It can only be for the law. Regrettable, but he chose this path, not I. So all that huda, bula, bluda, duda, duda, it comes down to this. What if the ranger were to pay uh, for his damage and assume guardianship over the boy? You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. To so be a barter for. Yeah, for barter, it's only $100, which we have. Or you just pay him $200, we don't have barter. So we got barter, so we're just gonna hook it up. Perhaps so. I am not a man of business, to be sure. He takes the sum he offered, writes a receipt, and jots a note in the battered ledger. He tucks the ledger back into his robes. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you yeah, full custody talks. of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. You know, like the ACDC top song. Now break bread! Come on, come on, listen to the We ain't gonna beg for our lives. Still here. Now looking forward to what comes next. Uh, we talked to the masturbator. He says he'll release you, but you'll have to work for us. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Yep. Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you, say thank you, thank you. Oh, his mom. We'll have our revenge. You ain't seen the last of us. You rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, when we leave here, she's gonna leave. But that's okay. We're just gonna tell, show you where Austin Keys is. Usually you go in here, you do this first, but the problem is I didn't have uh, $200 and I didn't know that I had stupid ass. Uh, Barter of four, so Rangers, leave. you told me that we were going to save my family. This isn't the way to the Garden of the Gods. And if you don't plan to honor your word, I'm us. leaving we'll be right back. Impossible. Who can say how long you'll be gone? I All refuse. Right. Fine, we'll meet you at the gardens. Do not be away for too long. Sure. Yeah, he's he's standing right there. That's where he, uh, Austin's gonna be, right there. Come back here. Come on, come on, listen to the money talk. Been to the bazaar yet? Ah, we got she's everything not even money here. <coughs> she's usually here. All right, never mind. I'll tell you what. We'll load the the part where we already beat the guardian. Fuck. Recruit him too early. Alright, we'll um we'll tell you what. What the hell man? I need to say quick load. Say load uh wait that shit. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to do it till like later, but okay. We did it like really early, you know.
Yeah, you could do it right away. I mean, we did it like in the beginning, but the problem is, uh, okay, so <coughs> all right, let's go back here. Hey, uh, did you ask your wife about your concerns yeah, about her? She doesn't show up till later. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm just gonna save this as uh, we're gonna be doing a couple videos. Okay, so that one, I'm just gonna save that as that. Dots. Okay. Anyway, that's the first thing we're supposed to do. We started here and then come down and then and then finish here. It's the Guardian of the Gods. Garden of the Gods. So we're done here. And go. Turn the shit in. I don't even know if he's still there. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if he's gonna be there. Obviously he's gone. See he's over there at the range. You ask your wife about Stupid! Oh do we have to turn the shit into Daisy first? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Get your Colorado Patriot here! Hot off the press! But either of you ever so he's gone and all those yeah. uh voices are all dead. See now we see her, she's not gonna complain because we <laughs> we helped her with the fucking shit at the garden. She'd be standing right there. I don't know. We have to do Daisy shit first. Probably have to. Ah, uh, I'm Austin. There he is. I'm new. Welcome aboard. Where are you from? Oh, around. Yeah, me too. We, we all are here. Okay, so it's right there. Hello, Rangers. Uh, um, permission to speak? Mission granted. Recruit. I just wanted to 